Hello everyone, and I just wanted to record this quick video to go over something which I discovered when I was rendering this image, and it well, it's to do with um, emitters and motion blur and instances, as you may have guessed from the annotations in the image. First of all, this scene itself is um, a particle scene generated in Cinema 4D. I've got a particle emitter up here. Um, and it's emitting these spheres and these spheres fall down and these um, these crosses here have a hinge applied to them at the center so that when the balls hit them they spin round and gradually find their way to the bottom. There are six different types of ball in the scene. Um, the first three are just simple uh, plastic materials, red, green, blue. There's a red one there, green one there and a blue one there. The next three are uh, metallic type objects, again red, green, blue, but you can't really see them very much. Um, there's a red one there, a green one there, and a blue one sort of there. And then finally, the last three balls are emitters, and they are the most obvious ones, uh, RGB. And what struck me about the scene when it was rendering is I realised that the emitters didn't look accurate. And after it rendered fully, this rendered to SL20, I had a look at it and I realised that yes definitely there are some issues that you know these emitters should be giving more light to the scene and also down below um, you can see that the emissions look uh, very strong so there's, it's definitely happening down there um, but also the second thing that I noticed was this uh, green stripe, very faint green stripe which I presumed was coming from an emitter somewhere I didn't know exactly where. Now in this image I have enabled scattering which uh, does still work. I enabled it to kind of see if it would work um, if the emitters were playing up that much. But uh, So scattering still works but the actual emitters don't look like they're um, uh, applying anything to the scene if they are uh, instanced and they are uh, Mo they have motion blur enabled. These are the two things which I used in this scene uh, just for a bit of fun and my you know, instincts told me that it's probably that which is the cause. So next I turned both motion blur and instances off to you know get a fresh start and um, just to check what the scene should look like and it confirmed that the emitters in the first scene are not having an effect on the objects around them like they should. And so from there I decided to investigate a little bit further and I turned instances back on. So now these objects are instances of the original. There are only six um, modelled balls in this scene now. Everything else is an instance. All the, all the other balls are an instance. And it still worked. It's still identical to the um, the version with both motion blur instances off. So I thought, okay, instances work okay, what about motion blur? So I turned instances off because I knew that if I had motion blur and instances on at the same time it would produce the original result. And I put motion blur back on and again it still looks like it's having the correct effect. So basically motion blur and instances each they work when you use them um, individually however when you use them uh, together for some reason it doesn't work. I don't know if this is a known bug but um, for whatever reason I thought it was quite interesting and I'd make a little post about it and so if you want um, a motion blur and instances in a scene you can't have it you can have one or the other so for me in this scene I had to not use instances because I wanted the motion blur the um, instances wasn't having a huge effect on the scene because there weren't actually that many balls but obviously in a scene where you had if this scene had thousands of balls then this could be an issue okay that's all for now thanks very much see you again soon